Bueno, buenas tardes. Good eh, afternoon. Quería contarles que no es esta presentación primero para que no es una expectación técnica de cómo funciona, de expectations as to how as to how these work. Funcionamiento de la red y de la constelación. Es más bien contarles que está interesado ISO. ¿Cuáles son las preocupaciones que tiene y las oportunidades que vemos para que los que también lo ven con interés se acerquen a ISO para trabajar con nosotros y analizar puntos de impacto que tenga. Hay un paper que está terminando que tienen detalle las cosas que voy a presentar ahora. ¿no? Es un paper que se creó en reuniones con, con Starling, OneWeb, cada uno de los proveedores de, de este servicio y con consultas a la comunidad y ahora está en la etapa final de, de publicación, así que lo van a ver publicado pronto. Van a poder ver ahí más o menos lo mismo que yo voy a presentar acá, pero el objetivo es que sea el primer documento de trabajo para ir profundizando y teniendo una posición un poco eh, más sólida y formada. Tanto para aprovecharlo y, y usarlo en lugares donde realmente es un complemento muy bueno y estar atento a todas las complicaciones que puede traer, no para bloquearlo, sino para tratar de evitar o reducir al máximo el impacto. En ISOC elegimos cada año pocos proyectos, entre 6 y 10 según el año, y... Tratamos de, de concentrarnos en cosas que nos parezcan realmente importantes, ¿no? Y, y esto parece un, un tema más, porque ISOC, habiendo tantos temas interesantes en Internet, lo considera entre las 8 o 10 cosas más importantes para el año. Bueno, eh, creemos que, que es un cambio muy disruptivo el de servicio que se puede trabajar. Eh, muchos aquí usamos... Eh, servicios Use satelitales, operamos redes con servicios satelitales. Ustedes recuerdan eh, los que usaron los servicios satelitales que un ping a cualquier lugar eran más de 500 milisegundos. Y hablar por teléfono era, o hacer Skype o cualquier servicio de voz, era esperar eh, porque tardaba en llegar it took some time to have a conversation we were trying to have a conversation like we normally have we would overlap so there were a whole series de cosas que el delay y que la latencia afectaban a la calidad de la experiencia de internet que hacían que no fuera tan conveniente para Internet, mucho menos so ahora, ¿no? Para gamers, so problematic for the Internet, much less than now. Imposible los, sobre los. It was impossible. La razón es que cuando los los satélites que usábamos, los satélites que usábamos, eso es para el satélite vaya a la misma velocidad de la Tierra y nosotros podemos poner una antena y vemos al satélite siempre en el mismo lugar. El satélite de esa velocidad compensa at that speed it will be sucked by the gravity of the earth it goes to the it's the speed is exactly what it should so it's not to go any further but it goes precisely at the same speed so that our antenna always sees it in the same place it's perfectly well aligned and in a place where it doesn't have to spend any fuel to reposition Eso está muy bien, That's pero son 36.000 kilómetros que tienen que volar un paquete bajar después para llegar al, al otro punto. Esto ruina muchísimos servicios end. de Internet. So many internet Esto services. obviamente course, eh, siempre fue un problema reconocido y se trató desde hace mucho de usar satélites más bajos with con éxito para muchas cosas. Funcionan bien, los satélites van más bajos, más rápido, 
satellites have to go faster to make up for the fact of being closer to Earth and suffering more gravity when it goes faster than the satellite will go on top and below. If we could see them, we would see that they move constantly. So there's an antenna that moves and follows it, or there are antennas that are shifted electronically. Can, can compensate the phases and accommodate to have the gain they need as the satellite moves. And the antenna in that case may be flat, always in the same place, and electronically it manages to follow the satellite without effect. When one satellite has gone, then it follows the new one. And when the antenna moves, the antenna makes up for that mobility electronically. Esto, como decía antes, se intentó so varias this veces. was attempted no sé si several times. I don't know whether you remember eh, in the 90s. Lidium, eh, Global Star, Global Teledesic. Star intentaron, uh, largaron satélites y por diferentes razones el negocio no funcionó. El servicio uh, funcionaba. El servicio no podía tener internet, móviles, era internet, tipo, mobile devices were big bricks that uh, used to work, Pero used to work. Había But Todavía las antenas no, no, no eran tan buenas, eran costoso producir los dispositivos que van en tierra, that, uh, largar los satélites, construir los satélites era costoso, largar los satélites, los cohetes para poner los satélites en órbita era, era, era orbit them. Was also, era mucho más caro el servicio much more expensive, casi todas esas cosas en los últimos all, años se fueron solucionando ahora todo el tiempo years. salen Now, cohetes al espacio a, 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 a 52 satélites de Star y están así saliendo todo el tiempo y unos días uh, antes Starlink había sacado, mandado otro cohete con otra cosa a las personas y bueno, es como un, with, uh, things, una terminal de ómnibus like ahora ese servicio es algo como un comodio Almost a commodity, más, and it eh, is much more affordable for the constellation to put los those birds, those uh, satellites los CPS in orbit. The CPEs now, the Starlink, the Starlink uh, service costs just $500 or $600, although it's expensive, it's not $8,000 or $10,000 no as it was in the past. So you know that all those things, um, como negocio fracasaron, uh, ahora parece que no van a fracasar. Ahora parece que va a ser una realidad. Y tener el satélite a 500 kilómetros, 600 kilómetros, no son cientos de milisegundos. Y en muchas comparaciones que han hecho de, de servicios, a veces es menor el delay, es menor la latencia por la constelación, por los satélites estos, que por los caminos que tienen que ir de fibra, pasando por muchos cosas, en los recorridos de fibra que van por carreteras, que tienen muchos más kilómetros. Es tan la, la, la curiosidad que a veces hasta le, le ganan a una red terrestre cuando tienen que pasar por varios proveedores, en, en algunas situaciones raras, pero, pero hasta termina funcionando mejor que una red terrestre. Entonces, hay que prestar atención porque al tener la red en el espacio, las oportunidades de tener costos bajos para desplegar esa red en el espacio, las oportunidades para Internet parecen muy grandes. Esto está actualizado muy recientemente, hoy a la mañana, y eso son todos los satélites que están ahora dando vueltas. Por supuesto, no solamente son los que están para Internet, The uh, internet satellites are many more for different purposes that range from 500 to 1,000 meters. Um, I think that Pueden it's, preguntarme uh, cualquier so cosa sobre el satélite, si tienen profundidad, cosas depth, bien técnicas, que yo conozco a alguien en la audiencia que sabe mucho sobre eso, eh, que, que es Gustavo Mercado, Gustavo que está sentado ahí trabajando. And he's already launched his trans satellites. He's going to be able to transfer everything. So first, because of the opportunities we see. 
I don't see any timers. Can somebody give me a hint of how much time I have left? Well, the opportunities, of course, for service end users, being not costly, and if it works right, the advantages are very obvious for the community centers, the libraries, internet points, tennis centers in the regions, sometimes in small towns or communities, they don't have connectivity, but they go to a library or school or a church, that's a wonderful solution, because the government or even the neighbors in the community network can pay for the service and provide connectivity very easily, something that in the past would cost $1,000 a month, now it will cost $100, so it's a super universal opportunity, and it adds the possibilities of having connections and service. In addition to what we already have. So it's wonderful for resilience uh, purposes. So what are the concerns? Well, these companies are not sustainable yet. We don't know whether the price will be maintained. It would be good for it to be accessed affordable, not because they are subsidized and they have to uh, not, not uh, generating expectations expectations to be the first uh, in the place, but related to that, as an international community, we need to pay attention, because there could be many other success stories like Starlings, so, so as to ensure uh, competition, and, and we need to make sure that uh, solutions to all problems can be found, and sometimes they affect these services, and sometimes things get uh, affected because uh, people want to go too fast. There are other regulation issues, because as it is new, uh, things uh, are getting uh, negotiated, uh, at the ITU, and so the providers need to negotiate with their own governments that represent them in the ITU, and then the geopolitical issues arise, because ITU is a global organization, and the decisions are made by governments. Eh, the spectrum issues are also a problem at present, and we have to be paying close attention to those of you working at governments or the government consultants. On one hand, we have to help them make decisions so that we can make the most of what they do, what they offer, but we also have to make sure that they meet the regulations of each country. We have to pay attention to the corporate responsibility for all that they are throwing into Spain. And uh, sooner or later, those things need to be removed from space. They need, you have to do it in a coordinated manner so that the astronomers and all the rest of the people willing to use those orbits won't be harmed. So, and even if it's a global service, each country is the authority of the use of spectrum in that country. So, you have to uh, arrange for frequency, use of frequency in the country. So, at the technology level, so far, we have very good news. However, it would be good. For, example, for instance, in, la parte in the interoperability and open standards for it to be respectful, si es posible, if possible, infraestructura de alguna to forma share que infrastructure in some way so that the networks may be open eh, and eventually to, to do some routing between the orbits. I didn't mention it, but they're already doing routing between the satellites using laser. These services come down from the satellite where I connect to a gateway that is under the same cone on the satellite. However, there are places where the Antarctica, the Falklands, where there are no closed gateways. And now they already have the possibility of having a laser connection to reach the gateway that is closer. So little by little, they start forming a network. Until now, they didn't. 
Y bueno, los, los temas de privacidad y seguridad que estamos siempre preocupados en ISOC. Y hay muchas eh, incertidumbres, ¿no? Entonces, eh, para eso es este paper. Como hay muchas incertidumbres, todos estamos aprendiendo y siguiendo lo con curiosidad, pero a la vez vemos que impacta en muchísimas cosas, en la regulación, en la coordinación entre las empresas, hay que estar atentos a que no se forme un monopolio, un monopolio, es que... Um, nos interesa que to, to the, to, uh, más gente conozca or, sobre esto que está ocurriendo y que um, se acerquen a ISO uh, si tienen comentarios o, and, and please, o alguna posición. Uh, Uh, eh, that you esto lo voy a pasar muy rápido, hicimos el análisis de impacto, usamos una herramienta que en ISO, que le llamamos IWN, que es a las características críticas de Internet, tratamos de ver cómo afectan las cosas. No lo voy a pasar ahora, no lo voy a explicar porque quiero dedicar tiempo a las preguntas. Creo que... I, I don't think sí, I'm going to show it now. Yes, it's time for Así questions. Con la so ayuda de, with the assistance de Gustavo, of my friend Gustavo, I'm going to answer the tengo. questions we have. Buenas tardes, Good afternoon, Wesley de I'm Wesley from Paraguay. Paraguay. That was a very good presentation, eh, Christian. De punto I have a question de, from the de point of view of ISO. ISO. We know that most ISPs have worked for digital inclusion in our region's countries. So do you think, from the point of view of ISO, that esa clase that kind of orbit will be flexibility so that people cannot be connected yet? So we know that it's very difficult in some distant places where they don't have fiber optic. Do you think that would be the solution? Y la segunda pregunta. That would be the first question. And the next, in an imaginary um, situation, a hypothetical situation, if a country bans the use of those satellites, how would ISOC act in that case? I will start with the second question. Well, actually, we don't act in favor or against the country's Our responsibility is vis-a-vis -vis the internet. So we won't adopt a, a a position when there's a geopolitical eh, problem, not even when thinking of the convenience of promoting a technology like this one. We see that it's something that is disruptive. Eh, we see por ejemplo, it, uh, para we a los are monitoring it uh, closely because in those isolated ISPs, places no where they have small ISPs that can't a, try so hard to reach everywhere, this seems to be a simple solution. Maybe for such isolated Alto, pero para un ISP, high, tal vez pueden encontrar la forma de aprovecharlo y compartirlo. Uh, uh, ahí la, uh, la so creatividad que tienen los pequeños ISP pueden hacer de esto una herramienta fantástica. No quiero que, se, que, 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 que el mensaje sea eh, ISOC apoya a los servicios de satélite de órbita baja porque son buenos para los que no, no es eso. Esto es un tema que nos parece que tiene impacto y nos preocupa mucho. This has an Pero impact and we are concerned about it. But we pregunta. see those opportunities that you mentioned in your first question. Hola, Douglas. Hello, I'm Douglas. Uh, eu, 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 eu vou fazer uma pergunta que, na verdade, é mais I'm uma going provocação para reflexão. Question, which in fact uh, is more like, a, se eu não me engano, uh, inspirou uh, em 2020, final de 2020, uma draft de RFC aonde ela acabou se inspirando por que ela focava em roteamento baseado em performance, latência, perda de pacote, ou seja, um complemento para o BGP para que a gente pudesse fazer isso. Na minha cabeça isso tem tudo a ver, porque vai chegar no ponto em que vai sair do, de, da Venezuela para chegar em Miami, vai ser Venezuela mais fácil que você vá para o satélite mais rápido, mas vai ter uma limitação de banda. No, então, rapidly, bom, será que nós estamos... And eu, and eu sinceramente, não me sinto preparado para lidar com esse tipo de roteamento, mesmo em de origem, mesmo em P de destino, protocolo diferente, indo por aqui, indo por lá. Esse é um ponto. E complementarmente a isso, temos um negócio chamado Software Defined One, ou 
que cada um de nós tem no bolso uma pecinha que we'll vai ter que escolher pocket, se vai pelo satélite ou se vai pela device, rede de celular. And you have to you go e through, também uh, me assusta um pouco isso do ponto de vista técnico. Quanto isso vai ser complicado. É, não é uma pergunta, é só uma colocação que eu gostaria que você fizesse comentário para isso. Vou contestar outra vez a segunda. Primeiro, pode ser complicado, mas é um tema complicado para a definição dos protocolos e a solução técnica que se faz no IETF e eh, encontrarão solução a esse desafio técnico. Por respeito à primeira pergunta, esse grupo de trabalho que se continuou, eh, houve um... Eh, um BOF em eh, IETF anterior que está creando ITF, agora um grupo de trabalho que é o TSB, que justamente retoma esse problema de uma rede em que os enlaces desaparecem e aparecem, como é o caso de los LEOs, ou vai ser o caso com 5G e os autos se vão conectando e desconectando. Vuelve a ser uma eh, necessidade solucionar o problema de, de uma rede que vai cambiando todo o tempo. Que havia desaparecido com a fibra, mas agora volta. E esse grupo de trabalho está agora justamente armando o charter e, e é um muito bom momento para entrar na lista e proponer casos se falta algum. Não recordo exatamente o nome do grupo, algo parecido a TSB. Se não, mira os BOFs da anterior. Muy bien, tenemos alguna so, pregunta más questions? para Cristian, para Sara, para lo virtual, ¿no? Virtually. Nada más. Bien, perfecto. Okay, Nos despedimos. Cristian, muchísimas gracias. Un aplauso para él. Un gran aplauso.